Well, let's now turn our focus to Albania. Now, that was once Europe's most isolated nation, and it's still one of its very poorest. But it does have an outside importance in Jewish history for saving almost all its Jews during the Holocaust. And it has reached out to the world in the post-communist era. Albania's foreign minister, Dietmar Bushati, was in visiting, is visiting Israel this week. And he spoke with our international affairs correspondent, Owen Alterman, who joins us now in the studio. And Owen, just tell us a little about what you heard from Albania, so mysterious a country for so many decades, even to speak with their uh, foreign minister must be an experience. Well, certainly the country's come a long way, Kaleb, since the fall of communism. But look, the big picture for Albania is this. On the one hand, in, in relations with Israel are important. The country is on the path of Syrian refugees over the past few years from Syria into Europe, also faces potential issues of terrorism. Again, the foreign minister was here and among other things, to speak at the Institute for Counterterrorism conference this week that I know we've also been covering. So again, he has interest in relations with Israel, not also because of that and also because of economic and trade issues, startup nation issues and innovation and the rest. It's also part of a bigger picture. On the one hand, Albania wants to become part of the European Union. It looks a little bit far off. On the other hand, Albania is in the Balkans and part of the Balkans, a part of Europe that traditionally, historically, has been somewhat unstable. We asked the Albanian foreign minister about his country's views on the issue of Jerusalem. Albania has over time voted with Israel a number of times in the UN General Assembly and issues of Gaza and others. But in this case, the Albanians voted in favor of that General Assembly resolution against Israel, did not even abstain. So we asked the Albanian foreign minister if his country's position on Jerusalem has changed since the time of that vote. On the one hand, he said, we're limited in what we can do. We need to stay on the same page as the European Union. We want to be part of the club. But then he also said this. And we also stand ready to uh, open an Albanian cultural center uh, here in uh, uh, Jerusalem, um, which uh, could be an avenue for uh, cementing cultural ties and bonds uh, between our two peoples. Oh, and beyond that, I understand you talked to him a little bit about the Middle East and other perceptions to Israel. What did he have to say? Well, that's true. One, one note on Jerusalem, that issue of opening a cultural center in Jerusalem that seems, by, by all accounts of what he said, at least partly oriented toward Israel, not the Palestinians, can be seen as a baby step, maybe, toward Israel's position. We've seen that from the Czech government, from the Slovak government, using this issue of opening a cultural center as a way of trying to bridge the divide between the European position and the Israeli position Pretty safe diplomatic step. You bet. As for neighboring countries, Turkey, that's the big one we wanted to ask the foreign minister about why Turkey is an important country in Albania's part of the world, especially for a country like Albania, which has a Muslim majority, has traditional cultural ties toward Turkey. So what does the foreign minister make of President Erdogan's statements toward Israel, particularly his saying that Israel has committed genocide in its actions in Gaza and on the Gaza border, and saying that the spirit of Hitler infused the recent nation state law? You'll see in a moment that at first the foreign minister wants to sidestep the questions, but then later on gives a more direct answer. It is not uh, comfortable for a foreign minister to judge uh, the positions or actions of uh, dignitaries from other countries. If you have seen uh, the way how we have been voting and the way how we have positioned ourselves, you would get the answer. No. A sensitive issue, but we were able to get him to go on the record and say how he feels about that. As we said, Albania often has voted with Israel, or at least abstained in the General Assembly. That's what he was referring to right there.